Well, I take vitamin C and uh, lemon barley and whiskey, and I nearly wrote the clip about it because he's got influenza. Well, I start the day with a good hot breakfast, porridge, eggs and bacon, and a drop of whiskey and tea. You can defy the virus then? Ah, eh? very good. What about you, madam? I believe in a good breakfast, but I also believe if you have got the flu, rinse your inside out with uh, continually with boiled water, about four or five half pint glasses a day, boiled water. Well, my remedy for flu is to uh, get a small Spanish onion, chop it up finely, and uh, put some brown sugar over it and a little vinegar. And then when it's into a syrup, take a spoonful before you go to bed. It's a very good remedy. Well, I'm a great believer in whiskey. I'm like the Scotchman. I believe in a drop of whiskey warm and it, it, it sort of cures the germs. I think four done is a marvellous idea. What's your recipe? A jolly good hot rum punch and a jolly good sweat and stuff in bed till it's all over. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> well, uh, my mother recommends an old sweaty sock with salt around your throat, good pull over and a good hot water bottle and sweat it out. And then if you feel that you're not going to spread germs around, then get up. Well, I think it's quite a, a simple ailment to deal with. Uh -huh. I take a jolly good dose of salts and let nature do, do the rest. Well, the best way that we find, and the only way, uh, is the use of elderflower wine. If you take a good uh, glassful tonight and uh, you go to bed and you sweat it out, you know, and you're all right in a day too. Well, there is a good cure in mustard and lard, and you rub the two well together and get a good blend in and then after it's re really, I don't know how to do it, but my father does it. But does he eat it or does he rub no, it into his rub chest? No, it or? on your chest in the front and back. Oh. And it is a, it is a good cure. I see. How about you? Have you got a good cure? Mm -hmm. Goose grease. You can rub that on your chair, you know, after you've been cooking the goose, and then keep the grease and uh, rub it on your chair. A large sheet of brown paper and cut it to go under the arms. Yes and do, uh, you warm it first mm -hmm. and get hot, uh, a, a warm goose grease mm -hmm. so as the, and uh, spread mustard over the brown paper mm -hmm. first. Yes. Get warm goose grease, which um, most people have got in the house. You spread it over the mustard on the paper to avoid any burning of the skin. I see. And should inflammation be setting in, as the doctor says it does sometimes, you boil the uh, boil elderflower mm. and give the patient a dose of the elderflower water. I see. But then do you go to bed with this on, with yes, the brown paper? Yes, yes. And the goose grease avoids it from burning. Oh. You get the ordinary mustard and you spread it onto the brown paper and warm the goose grease on the hob and just spread it over there. Don't you find it a bit messy? Oh, well, you've got to spread that. You've got to put up with that, haven't you? Well, if I feel as if the flu is coming on me, I take a nice big tumbler full of hot lemonade, put in about three teaspoonfuls of rum, two aspirins, get into bed, cover myself up well, tie the stocking that I've been wearing on my feet, one of them, around my throat, with a safety pin, and stay in bed and sweat it out. And in the morning, change my pajamas and stay in the bed. And then again, I do it again in that once in the afternoon, once again at night. And I find in three days' time, I'm cured. What do you find is the best way to cure the flu? Well, just think that you haven't got it. And to, better than that, boil onion. Yes. And just leave it go cool, warm, just cool enough for drinking, and drink it up, and that's it. And just don't be languid and about, just get out of it and work it off yourself. That's the only thing that, well, I've still got it now, and I'm still about. You've got flu now, have yeah. you? Well, in that case, I won't keep you another minute. Thank you.